everyone, it's Lo from Cosplaying on a Budget, and I recently got a question from someone who wanted to know if it was possible to change the color of buttons. They were able to find the right size and shape that they needed, but it was in the wrong color. I've got a couple of different options for you. Uh, the first one is this stuff called Rub and Buff, and I know it's available at Hobby Lobby. I think some hardware stores carry it as well. It comes in all the basic metallic colors, bronze, silver, gold, and I know it'll work on both plastic and metal surfaces. I've actually used it before in my own little projects. These were bottle caps that I turned into magnets, and I think they were blue to begin with, and I used um, the bronze and the gold rub and buff to change the color. I've got a darker one here in the bronze, but they work really well. Uh, the second option is spray paint. Krylon uh, carries this brand called their Fusion and it's for plastic. So if your buttons are made out of plastic and you just want to quickly spray them down, you can use this. Uh, both of the processes I just mentioned, it'd probably be a good idea to lightly sand your buttons. That way it would give it a slightly rough surface for the paint to adhere to. You can also uh, seal both of them with polycrylic. I recommend polycrylic over uh, polyurethane. Polyurethane gives everything kind of a yellowish tinge. Polycrylic is going to dry much clearer and be truer to the color that you had underneath. And after you do that, it should help keep uh, the paint from flaking and scraping off. I have one last option for you, and this one's kind of my favorite, and I've used this on several different projects, and it's Fingernail polish. I know it sounds really weird, but fingernail polish comes in a variety of colors, and you can get some incredibly cheap too. Those little bonbon ones that are like a dollar, and they're really good. Uh, but if you just need like a tiny bit of paint to do something that has a bright sheen to it, I've used it on stones to make fake gems. I've used it on porcelain. I've used it on plastic. Because actually, you know, fingernail polish is supposed to be used on like acrylic nails. So there you go. Um, you also might want to seal it with some polycrylic as well just to help hold. But yeah, there's your several options. Good luck on your project and um, can't wait to see what your costume looks like.